What's the deal, everybody? So this is Joe Conscious coming at you with some spoken word poetry that's done a cappella. <laughs> um, so I've been neglecting this side of me, and I've been trying to bring you some more current stuff. Um, I've been working a lot on my hip hop and been neglecting my poetry, but um, you know I'm gonna start with my album, and then I'm gonna be working on a second album. And I'm going to need new material, so I've been going back to my poetry, and, you know, that's where I started. And so this one is a really good poem that I, I, um, I actually got to perform at a charter school, and I got a really good reaction from it, so I hope you guys like it. Um, it's called Home of the Brave. I can understand feeling like you want to die. But I can't fathom following through with actually committing suicide. Especially for just being outed as gay. There's gotta be another way. Sexuality isn't something you choose. When killing yourself, loved ones lose. It's too tough to mourn through. Carrying on without you. Seeing those beautiful, lifeless eyes with undoubtedly be my demise. A life cut short and abbreviated because it was the only way you knew how to alleviate it. All the suffering, hurt, and pain repeatedly felt day after day. Being constantly nagged, ragged on, and bullied. Picked on, beat up, and sullied. Kids can often be extremely cruel, use hateful words as an abusive tool to make themselves feel better. While adults are quick to tether and fetter to gain dominance and control, they'll show you the cold side to their soul, utilize intimidation tactics that are borderline crazy and drastic, trying to get you scared since people can easily be manipulated and managed through fear. Discrimination is running rampant, and I really can't stand it. Self-confidence comes with age. However, during the puberty stage, younglings' hormones are in a rage. Thank God it's only a phase, and eventually they'll mature. Hopefully find passion, or maybe more, like figuring out what purpose they're here for. The reason for their existence. They definitely need to develop resistance and build up a bit more thick skin. I know my patients often ran thin, particularly when I let others affect and get to me. Who really cares what the collective they say or think? The individual is an endangered species on the verge of going extinct. The world's turning robotic. Originality's rare or scarce and gone exotic. Lots of women and many men get caught up simply emulating. When the power lies within each of us to reach and dig deep where we have the guts, to stand up for our own convictions despite popularity's addiction, stop listening and give Giving in to the majority's unsolicited opinion. If we could learn to embrace our differences, unity provides strength that is limitless. Of course, going against the grain can leave splinters, but we totally need more revolutionary and forward thinkers who aren't afraid to throw down and bow instead of these pushovers ready to lay down and gracefully bow out. It's about time we realign, develop a stronger spine, and handle business. The current mentality that exists is that it's okay to settle back down a cave when I thought this was the land of the free and home of the brave. Peace and one love. For more, please go to www.joeconscious.com or check out my other videos on YouTube. Thanks.